Life is only what you make it And you can make it if you try Life is loving and forgiving It's made for living all the while If you worry about tomorrow There's only sorrow heading your way So don't be a dog arm stick in the mud Cause crying never did nobody no good Life is only what you make it So take it and make it worthwhile You can't walk around with the world on your shoulders It's a crime Whoever you are, you'll be looking much older Before your time Life's pretty short, so you best make it snappy Change your style If you want to live, you better get happy Learn to smile Life is only what you make it And you can make it if you try Life is loving and forgiving It's made for living all the while If you worry about tomorrow There's only sorrow heading your way So don't be a dark arm stick in the mud Cause crying never did nobody no good Life is only what you make it So take it and fake it and make with a smile Fly out Come on, make it work Regarding our forthcoming trip to Majorca. Thank you, please, and room. Somebody has asked about the language problem. So I suggested that they went to night school for a course of lessons. This was 12 weeks ago. The member concerned now wants to know how flower arranging will help him to order a pint of bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. A welcome return to the wheel tappers and shunters. A welcome return. Lovely to see you once again, Terry Rogers. Now, before you go any further, last time you were here, you were very rude to me and you never adjopalized. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, but I don't even remember insulting you in any way at all. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to the little fella. <laughs> He's at it again, isn't he? <laughs> Look at him with a flat cap and his mouth wide open, he looks like a vandalised letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we start the part of the show, I would like to say how thrilled I am to be back here at the Wheel Tappers and Shunters Club. Uh, we really had to come back. Yeah, we ran out of bloody money, that's why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be back. I'm sick of standing in for Joe 90 of the bloody week, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do, anyway? Pardon? What are we going to do? Well, at this date in our contract, we're here to perform a ventriloquial act. Is that legal? Hmm. Sounds obscene to me. Don't you know what ventriloquism is? Yeah, I'll do it myself. You do what? I'll do that myself. You do what yourself? Then children. Then children listen. Then children. What you say? It's very difficult. I know, I can't even say it, but I can do it. You can? Yeah. Let's see you do some. Now? Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening, you are about to witness the world's greatest demonstration of the inclusion. <laughs> Ventriloquism. Ventriloquism. Drop dead. Now, <laughs> I would like you to pay particular attention to the fact that whilst I'm performing this unusual feat of verbal dexterity, 
that at no time during this demonstration do either Dan Great Mike or the only stuck up in front of me gone. <laughs> so you can't see me lips moving. Like some of the incredulous I could mention, is it? You're not referring to me? No. Thank you. They make microphones big enough to cover your gun. What are you doing? <laughs> that hurt me, that hit that. That hurt me, that. <laughs> she was thrown out of the SS, the cruelty, this one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, then she listen. <laughs> the epitome of perfection. Watch the cake hole. <laughs> What's that for? Shut up. Why are you pulling that stupid face? Will you shut up? I'm c calling it stupid face because you can't bloody do it any other way, no? <laughs> quiet, quiet, no. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Because it's just absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Watch this. Ground grigging gutter <laughs> and a gottle of ground guggling gear. <laughs> and key a kike, a kick a kick a kick or kick Did you hear that spontaneous round of indifference we got to that? <laughs> <laughs> ground grigging gutter and a gottle of ground guggling gear and key to kike, a kick a kick of kick or kick Blimey, you can do it as well. I didn't know that. Weren't you supposed to say brown bread and butter and a bottle of brown bubbling beer and Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle pepper? And the other try to say brown bread and butter and a bottle of brown bubbling beer and Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle pepper without moving your lips. No, it's all right, son, darling. It's not as easy as you are. <laughs> Thank you. That's enough. Quiet, please, because she'll have me doing it all over again if you're not going. That was very good, but do you know what it means? Yeah, about 30 bob a night and a headache. No. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of the word ventriloquism? No. Well, it's throwing the voice. I'll give you a demonstration. Yeah, that'll get a laugh. I want you to imagine that this microphone is a telephone, and I'm about to have a telephone conversation with a friend of mine. Right. You ready? Yeah. Hello. 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 He's supposed to keep quiet. Me? Yes. Oh, another set? No. <laughs> Things on the mind reader or something, I don't know. <laughs> she used to be an Avon lady in a Japanese prison of war camp. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Have you finished? Sorry, carry on. Hello. 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 How are you? Not too bad. You never really bought any money in it. How the heck did you do that? <laughs> that was ventriloquism. That was absolute. Can I go before he rings off? <laughs> go ahead. Hello? Hello. <laughs> Who the heck's working you? <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. It's not very nice, you know. Apologise. Apologise. You. you. Me? What do you mean? Apologise to that gentleman. He started it. I'm not apologising to him. He is a member of the audience and he deserves a bit of respect. He should have kept his trap shot. I never asked him to call out, did I? <laughs> you know Bernard is here to help us. Now apologise. He's drunk, isn't he? <laughs> He's drunk. He's not drunk. No? No. How come he called out a wooden dolly? Must be drunk to do that, must be. Apologise. No. We won't get paid. I'm most awfully sorry, Bernard. <laughs> will, you, will you accept my humble apologies, please? I will, uh, certainly, certainly. God, God bless you. Thank you. And may he come for you soon. <laughs> Troublemaker he is, troublemaker he is. You want to do a double act with the chairman there, Heckle and Snide. <laughs> I think we ought to leave before you insult anybody else. Would you like to sing a song? No, I've been through all that. I'm not going to sing. Before I leave you, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say a very big thank you to uh, Bernard and the chairman for allowing us to work here in this lovely club. And I would like to say a big thank you to the boys in the band, other the pusher, 
Um, and as leader, I thought not playing whilst I was on. Um, I must tell you this little story just before I go. There was this gormless concert chair, then you see. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> There's this gormless concert chair, then. And Don't tell jokes about things which cannot possibly be true. <laughs> <laughs> Do something topical like uh, football hooligans or something like that. Oh. Eh? Yes. <clears throat> there was a scornless concert chair, and then there was a football hooligan, and he <laughs> threw a bottle at the ref and broke the television. <clears throat> That's it. Good night. God bless you. Look out. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to tell you that it is dense fog outside and it has been snowing and it's four foot thick. <laughs> so if you've come by car, you'll have to leave your car here tonight. You'll need to go on by taxi. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's banjo players and banjo players. <laughs> this lad's got a good living for years doing a wonderful imitation of George Formby. <laughs> and he's dead, as you know. <laughs> There's only one man could carry the George Formby name on and really do it well. Too old for Shep's banjo, boys. <laughs> but still plodding on. Say hello to Don Randall, Alan Randall. <laughs> Got a crazy notion, live their own. Some like to mix up, fill a crowd, some like to be alone. It's no one else's business, as far as I can see. Every time I go out, the people stare at me with my little ukulele in my hand. Have you got one? People just don't understand. Some watch the telly and some read a book. But I get lots of pleasure when I'm playing with me. You, of course, I take no notice, you can tell. My mother's advice will always stand. She said, my boy, do what I say. You'll never go astray if you hold me you ukulele in your hand. Oh, baby, give me a ukulele in your hand. Made up my mind, I get where the age. You ought to know. But just about a week ago, I had an awkward fright. I had to get dressed quickly in the middle of the night and with me little ukulele in me hand. I ran along the road for Dr. Brown. It didn't take him long to get his little bag of tools. I held his hat and coat, I let him have me book of rules. Out of the bedroom door, he looked and smiled. He said, Come inside, see your wife and child. He had the ukulele in his hand Just a little and he had the ukulele in his hand Time, you know that. Hey, uh, you have a very good turn there. Thank C you. Can me and Bernard John in because we can say it turned out nice again, and not it? Oh, you can say that, but can you sing a few songs from the war years? Now, do you remember the war? Which Certainly. one? Does Bernard remember the war? He Certainly. started it. He started it, did he? 
All right, we'll do a few songs from the war years. The first one's from Dad's Army, and you can all join in and sing, because it's called Who Do You Think You're Kidding, Mr Hitler? One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> If you think old England's done Mr Brown goes off to town on the 821 But he comes home each evening and is ready with his gun Who do you think you are kidding Mr Wilson If you think old England's done How about this one? Kiss me goodnight Sergeant Major Come on Bernard Tuck me in my Bless them all, bless them all. My words, the long and the short and the tall. Now bless all the ATS girls, nice and bright. Especially that big and I took out last night. I had to stand on a couple of bricks to kiss her because she was too tall. But she got the notion I wanted promotion and all the time. Bless them all, bless them all, all together. The long and the short and the tall. Bless all the sergeants and W.O.1s. Bless all the corporals and their blinking sons. Cos we're saying goodbye to them all. As back to their village they crawl. You'll get no promotion this side of the ocean. So cheer up my life. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, our producer goes all around the world, fetching you acts from all over the all over the globe. And it's my pleasure now to bring you from the Hong Kong Working Men's Club Affiliated. <laughs> Francis Yip. <laughs> Excuse me, yes. on behalf of the committee and on behalf of the population of this country, can we have our chip shops back? Oh! <laughs> Only if you promise not to drink our tea anymore. Eh? 
<laughs> Only if you promise not to drink our tea, I said. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm very happy to be um, here tonight to meet you all. And I'd like to sing a happy little tune for you. It's my uh, new English record. It's called Make My Life a Little Bit Brighter. Street on my own two feet. I couldn't believe it. Now I found you. Ooh, I'll keep you and I'll stay with you when I want to and I want to cause you. to dry their hands under the hot air blow dryer in the gents have preference over people who want to warm the meat pies under it. <laughs> Thank you. Now what can you say about this next young man, ladies and gentlemen, a star of the fantastic successful show, The Comedians, He's just come back from a tour of Germany where he got a Nuremberg rally reception. They all stood up and shouted, Schwein und Schwein und! <laughs> Get your hands together, say hello to the funniest man in Liverpool today, without any doubt, Eddie Flanagan! <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Kittens. <laughs> Carpets. Of course, I went to see my mum this morning. She's 89. She's knocking about with this fella. <laughs> I haven't seen her since last Good Friday when I went for their fish. <laughs> she gave me threepence. <laughs> Go and get me three pence of whale meat. And turns the lady head on for the cat. <laughs> oh, I was 
reminisces me, man. Tell me about years ago, we used to have rabbit pie. So give me a tanner. Go and get me a rabbit. And try and get one with the hump on its back. <laughs> If you've forgotten your jokes, you'll have your money cut. To keep the pie crust up. He's got a piece you wouldn't get tired of it. <laughs> My oh, man was telling me about years ago, we used to live in a two up and two down. We'd all be playing in the street, and all our mans would be on the step watching us. And they all seemed to have big busts them days, didn't he? <laughs> it was them crossover pennies. <laughs> and the woman next door was dead posh, wasn't she? She used to have a little mat in the lobby. <laughs> And on a Sunday when your mum had eight here, she used to dress you up the best way she could. Big safety pin in your blazer. <laughs> holes in your socks. And when you're going out to play, your mum would say, if that woman next door says anything about the holes in your socks, you tell her you can't stand wool next to your heels. <laughs> And do you remember Saturday night in the tin bath? <laughs> Six here. Your mama put a brick on the one end. The older you were, the deeper you sat. <laughs> I'm first out, got the towel. And the rest of you should stand diddling in front of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, your dad be a bit of lino. I was no pajamas them days, was they? Soon as you dry, your mama put a clean woolly vest on, you're up to day. <laughs> you all be stood there, your hands over your willies. <laughs> Waiting for your set up a fix. <laughs> and your mum would put eight here in one bed. And she'd pin all your best together so you wouldn't fall out. <laughs> and your sister would shout down, wouldn't she? <coughs> Ma'am? Ah, uh, Eddie's kicked the overcoats off the bed. <laughs> and your mum would say, shh, your auntie's here. Tonight you're down. <laughs> <laughs> and next night your sister shouts down, ma'am. Ah, uh, Eddie's ripped the sleeve off the eider down. <laughs> Do you remember when you used to have visitors coming to the house? Your mum would say, now there's visitors coming tomorrow. So I'll make a rabbit pie. Now when I put it on the table and I say to you, do you want some rabbit pie? You say no. <laughs> In case it's not enough to go down. <laughs> and next day we'd all be sat around the table with the visitors and we'd have shoes on. <laughs> your mum would come in with the rabbit pie and put it on the table. He says, you want some rabbit pie? We say, no, ma'am. <laughs> and they'd all get stuck into it. <laughs> Shift a lot. <coughs> and we'd be starving. <laughs> and when he'd finish, your mum would clear all the plates off the table and come back in with the big blancmange. <laughs> she put it on the table and we say, can we have some blancmange, ma'am? 
She said, no, you wouldn't eat a rabbit pie. <laughs> Now because uh, I've got to go now because me me mum's got me dinner on the low light <laughs> and all the gravy will be burnt on the edge. <laughs> Good night, God bless. Have a nice time. Now some members have asked if they can park on the road outside the club without lights on. Now, I've had a ruling on this from the local constabulary. <laughs> the local police have said that lights must be on at all times. However, we've had a meeting of the committee and we have passed a resolution that we're overruling the police. You do not have to have lights on your car for Sunday lunchtime concerts. <laughs> Thank you. Now, this lad has just done a season of bottling. He was on the escape committee. <laughs> <laughs> International singing star. He's done all the big clubs, and now he's doing the little clubs. <laughs> for plenty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our very own northern superstar, Tony Christie. a baby my little lady dream till the sunrise creep into your eyes dream till the sunrise turns on the day And the guy who's waiting to see her just 
beyond the highway There's an open plane And it keeps me going Through the wind and rain Is this the way to Amarillo? Every night I've been hugging my pillow Dreaming dreams of Amarillo And Sweet Marie who waits for me Thank you, good evening, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, here's a very old song that you may remember. Old Man River, that old man river, you must know something, but don't say nothing, he keeps on rolling, just keeps rolling. Now he don't plant taters, he don't plant cotton, and them that plants them is soon forgotten. But old man river keeps on rolling. And you land in jail I get weary And sick of trying I'm tired of living 